This video will cover beginner questions regarding the topic of the limit of a piecewise function. Before we begin, let's cover the definition of a limit. Here, the limit of f of x as x approaches a equals l. This means that when x approaches a from either side, either positive side of a or negative side of a, the function f of x becomes so close to a value l that it almost becomes that value. However, x never equals a. You must remember this while we consider x approaching a, x never equals a. Now, let's begin. This is the first question. Number a, what is the limit of f of x? as x approaches 3 from the left side, when x is 2.5, the y is here, and when x is 2.9999, the y is here. So the function seems to be approaching 2. Number b, what is the limit of f of x? As x approaches 3 from the right side, x equals 3.5 and x equals 3.1, x equals 3.00001. fx is getting closer and closer to 2. So the answer is 2. Number C, limit from the left hand side is equal to the limit from the right hand side. So the answer is 2, the same. Number D, when x is exactly 3, the y value does not exist. So does not exist. This is the next question, number A. The limit of f of x as x approaches 3 from the left side. When x approaching this direction, the y value is approaching 2, so answer is 2. Number B, the limit of f of x as x approaches 3 from the right side. So x is approaching this direction, then y approaching here is number 2. Number C, the limit from the left hand side is the same as limit from the right hand side so the answer is 2 same number d when x is exactly 3 the y value is 1 this is the next question the limit of f of x as x approaching 3 from the left side when x is approaching this direction y is approaching 2 so answer is 2 Number B, the limit of f of x as x approaches 3 from the right side. So when x is approaching this direction, the y value is approaching 2. Number C, limit from the left hand side is equal to limit from the right hand side. So the number C answer is 2. And number D, when x is exactly 3 here, so y value is 2. This is the next question. Number A, the limit of f of x as x approaches 3 from the left side. When x approaching this direction, the y value is approaching 2. Number B, the limit of f of x as x approaches 3 from the right side. So this direction. And then fx seems to be approaching 1. C. The limit from the left hand side does not equal the limit from the right hand side. So number C answer is DME, which means does not exist. Limit as x approaches 3 
from the left side fx does not equal limit of fx as x approaches 3 from the right side. And then number d, when x is exactly 3, the y value does not exist. So this is the answer. This is the next question. Number a, the limit of f of x as x approaches 3 from the left side. This means when x is approaching this direction, y is approaching 2. Number b, the limit of f of x as x approaches 3 from the right side. So when x approaching this direction, the y getting closer, closer to 1. Number c, the limit from the left hand side does not equal limit from the right hand side. So the answer does not exist. And number D, when X is exactly 3, the Y value is 1. That is the answer. This is the next question. Number A, the limit of F of X as X approaches 3 from the left side. So X approaching this direction, then Y value is approaching 3. Number B, the limit of f of x as x approaches 3 from the right hand, so this direction, then y value approaching 1. Number C, this is either side, but the limit from the left hand side does not equal limit from the right hand side, so this answer is D and E, does not exist. And number D, when x is exactly 3, here, the y value is exactly 2. That is the answer. This is the next question. Number A, the limit of a difference is the difference of the limit. The limit of f of x as x approaches 0 is 3 minus the limit of g of x as x approaches 0 is 1. So square root of 3 minus 1, which is square root of 2, that is the answer. Number b, the limit of a quotient is the quotient of the limit. And the limit of the sum is the sum of the limits, so we can expand limit of f of x as x approaches 0 plus limit of 2 as x approaches 0 over the first one, limit of gx as x approaches 0 minus the second one, limit of 2 as x approaches 0. And this one is 3 plus. What does limit of 2 as x approaches 0 mean? We can draw the graph. And this is y equals to graph. As x approaches 0 on either side, the y value equals to or this way is the same thing. So this value equals to over gx is 1 minus 2. So 5 over minus 1. So the answer is minus 5. Number C, the limit of a product is the product of the number. Times 
かなぁ ?And the first one answer is three times one equals three. This is the answer. This is the next question. We can rewrite the question using the limit rules. Number A, the limit of a sum is the sum of the limits. The second one. And the limit of the constant times a function is the constant times the limit of the function. So the first one is the same. And the take out constant here. Like this. So first one is 2 plus 3 times the second one g is minus 2. So 2 minus 6 equals minus 4. That is the answer. Number B equals limit of f of x as x approaches 3 cubed, which is 2 cubed. So the answer is 8. Number C. The limit of a quotient is the quotient of the limit. So, over limit of g of x as x approaches 3. So, that one is 0 over this one equals minus 2. So, 0 over minus 2 means just 0. This is the answer. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment below and I will address them in a future video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.